facilities will henceforth be considered organ donors. A report released today claims that Two Point County has the best medical coverage in the country. And while it does say it can't vouch for what goes on in the Orb Wellness Centers, they're sure those are top-notch too. That's good enough for me.
This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Would you believe it? Old Henry Jobsworth, the local health and safety inspector, is threatening to close down Mary Dunk Farm, infested with cows, pigs, and chickens. Steady on, Henry. the news. A dangerous animal has escaped from Grockle Bay Zoo, though the authorities have yet to reveal what species. Rumor has it that it's a nine-foot half tiger, half rhino with a big appetite. And just think, you won't need to buy a ticket to... Diagnosis. 
required in GP's office. Domesticated? Try litigating! The Bureau Cats are back with more wacky administrative mishaps than ever. Dumb Bureau Cats! No amount of paperwork is going to stop these cats from landing on their feet. Watch Bureau Cats every day on Bungle Kids. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Our roving reporter, Sally Fig Blanket, has been out recording a new segment on Two Points. I've never actually seen any of her pieces, but I'm told they're very good indeed. Keep up the sterling work, Sally.
energy. I've been informed that the local library is implementing a new policy this week. Head librarian Penelope Stuffage, tired of so many people forgetting to return books, is threatening to sneak into our homes at night and recover any overdue volumes while we sleep. So if you find your breakfast cereals arranged alphabetically and shelved by fiber content, don't be alarmed. It's just old Penelope doing her job.
Station. Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. I'd like you to all think of a butterfly sleepily waving its colorful wings. Isn't that a lovely image? Meanwhile, in the news today, the mayor has announced a 100% increase in our taxes. Patient going to rival hospital.
places. to Two Point Radio with your resident weirdo, Harrison Wolf. Tune for some great music. You never know. We might get lucky. stare into empty space and just ponder the mysteries of the universe like how many planets out there support life and what's another word for thesaurus more existential questions after this interview approaching 
matching. The Two Point Squabbler for all your local news. Two points of view on all subjects because you decide what's true. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio. Why? 
and safety inspector Henry Jobsworth were seen checking into the Shore Thing Hotel in Grockle Bay yesterday. He was then seen running out and screaming this morning. Sounds about right.
Is it just me or are the pointy mountains getting less pointy? We should raise some money and get them sharpened. I mean, who wants to live in the shadow of blunt mountains?
close to award season. My therapist still says I need to find a hobby, so I decided to try whittling. Ever sat down with a small knife and a piece of wood? It's a very fulfilling experience. But how many stakes does one man need? The search continues. If you're looking for a product with which to clean your hair, we at Jester would like to ask that you consider our shampoo. Yeah, all right. Jester shampoo. It'll clean your hair, but it won't change your life. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio.
Connections needed in staff room. Office. Our marketing director Stacy went to a holistic oh. nature commune to have her appendix removed, but all they had was tree surgeons. She'll need to visit a real hospital, but at least her hair has been nicely pruned. Just a 
must get weird for you, hearing this voice coming out every few minutes. But don't worry, I'm not inside your head. I'm just inside your radio. That's where the music lives too. Music like this. This is Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Fear not, faithful listeners. Your favorite radio personality, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, is back. As much as I would like to quit this infernal booth forever, I cannot deprive you of my wit. I take the responsibility of being your only source of intellectual stimulation very seriously indeed. More instantly forgettable melodies coming up next. And so another day begins in Two Point County, where students at the Mitten School of Medicine may soon be able to practice on actual living people. Any budding doctors should remember that gluing heads back on to accidentally decapitated patients is all very well with dummies, but there are no do-overs in real life. It's easy to get lost around the tumble, and it's even easier to fall down. That's why authorities recommend only seasoned climbers and hikers visit this beautiful region of Two Point County. Or at least people which 
The rest of us will have to make do with a postcard.